Damn. The old man's not here either. Where the hell did he go? They took Shio, didn't they? I thought you guys were on the run. Looks like you ran back into the lion's den. We figured you'd be lonely, so we thought, hey, might as well come and lend a hand. We've been hunting for another path into Aegis, but no luck there. They're so close to launch that they must have locked down the entire perimeter. There's no other way in. I think there might be. I'm not so sure. I think there's a tunnel leading there underneath the den. Coda, I thought you'd turned on us. You and your family were gonna join the Ark. I... Sorry. I should have known better. Thank you. Come on. I think it's down here. without the key. I guess it doesn't surprise me to find you all here. <gasps> Tsubaki, we have to find a way. Just don't. I'm not here to arrest you. Who do you think I am? The whole region's in chaos now that the Ark is so close to completion. All those who had a seat already left. Well, what will you do then? What I always do, I suppose. I will fix my little brother's crazy messes. And speaking of crazy, how did you know there was a path down here, Coda? Well, back when I thought they were building an underground residential section, I tried to sneak a peek. I didn't know it was worth anything until now. Besides, the doc told us in class that they were using this big old factory as a staging area for the Aegis. So I figured, hey, how else are they gonna get it there? <laughs> and to think Sakaki was always fuming about you falling asleep in class. I don't know who to believe. I have the release key here. But be warned, if you're going over to Aegis, you'd better be ready. I only have one more thing to say. I am proud of each and every one of you. Fight well. Is... Holy crap, it's huge! Shio! 
I only crave what is inside you. Give in, little thing, and surrender those precious tears. Time for fighting is past. You were so fond of this little monster, weren't you, Soma? Perhaps you saw something of yourself there. Foolish choice, my son. Very foolish indeed. Enough! You're no father to me! You can think yourself a savior, but you're a traitor! Let Shio go! <laughs> Attained the singularity from within her. I suppose I have no further use for the vessel. Very well. She is free. Long the road. Treacherous, the road we have taken to come here. For years I have nurtured the Nova, devouring only the traits it needed. For years I scoured the Earth, seeking burned out husks of ships that could survive space. For years I built, and waited, and prepared this journey. Now at long last, now it all ends! The contest has been decided. I, the victor. Come on out, Doctor. Haven't you hid enough? We are too late. It is too far gone. No. We tread the chasm. One mistaken footfall enough to send us down. Each day, thousands fall to the Aragami. They are but a match before the fires of redemption. Nova, the sword of Damocles, shall swallow whole this wretched earth. This world is already dead. When falls then the fateful blow? Minutes? Hours? Perhaps centuries? When it does, Aegis will be no shield to us. And I will not hide like a fawn before the hunter. I will bring this horror to bear. It is inevitable. And when controlled, the best of us can survive to this next generation. Did you not have the same dream, Doctor? To use this singularity, save you were begging it to hold back its divine flame. I wouldn't say that. What does he mean, Doctor? You knew all of this? I wanted to preserve the world, Sakuya. I knew I could, so I endeavored to make an origami like us. Safe like us. If I could prolong the state before the devouring apocalypse rose, perhaps then. But I hoped to create an autonomous, intelligent origami. I wanted to curb their natural instinct, their predatory ways. And I used you all to do it. I used Shio to do it. I wish there had been another way. Of course, you dreamt of peaceful coexistence with monsters. You were never a scientist, Paler. Just a romantic with a fragile heart. You could have known it a fool's errand if only you had seen. In all of human history, when has such a being arisen? When has a human ever eschewed their instinct and remained autonomous? Maybe never, Johannes. And maybe they never will. But damn it, I believe they can. You entered hell and abandoned all hope long ago. You cut me. But the words are untrue. Do I doubt humanity? Do I think them weak and petty and pathetic? Yes. But there is one thing I know. Humanity will always strive to use their intelligence. They will strive to live. Our natural instincts are no different. Gaze into the mirror. We are origami, the nova in different flesh. Our saving grace is our minds.
For ages I have known that we could never come together. You've torn away Shio's core. That's your key, isn't it? You have your singularity. You have your apocalypse. And now I face this world knowing I have nothing else. I will not deny your cleverness, Paper. Sending me to Europe. A desperate plea to buy time. But I had already won. Ha 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 ha, yes. I suppose you must have known about that. Time must truly have been on your side to have gone along so neatly. My friend, I have always known. Do not grieve as night comes. The singularity will rise like the dawn. It will point the way to a new providence. The cycle of planets and life tied to the wheel of fate and time. It is divine providence. Who else would you wish to find at such a pinnacle? Who else could stand so in the new world? In any world? Only humanity. It's truth. The only truth. We are above all. We! <laughs> we ourselves have become the eater of gods! I was curious to see the outcome of that battle. Will gods become human, or humanity turn themselves into gods? Alas, I must admit defeat. Ah, no different from an origami, Johannes. No different than the creature you bred to destroy us. I never thought I'd turn to faith. Too much trust in what I could see and feel. But I have faith in you, God Eaters, in each and every one. Are you watching us, Lindo? We made it all this way because of you. We won't give in now. Not when we still have strength left. All this time, I just wanted someone to make me a heaven. To protect my family. To care for my friends. I should have learned a long time ago that it was no easy feat. I guess I've only one option. I'll have to fight for it. I'll have to make it myself. You're right. And you're not the only one. Even I can come back. Even I can fight. As long as I have you guys, I can do anything. Guys, sentimental speeches are all well and good. But we're a little short on time right now. Cover me! Come rain and storm! Come wind and scream! You cannot hold this spring! In the tempest-tossed seas, only one haven remains. But you are barred from Eden. Blink out like the stars! The primary objective is to eliminate Johannes von Schicksal. I trust in you. All of you. The structure out in front is a massive oracle wave, but its form is dissimilar to an Aragami. If they take it down, I'm with you till the very end. You've made me proud every day to be an operator. <laughs> Fire! 
consume and it will begin again he's right it's an impossible task we face the process has already begun there must be a way anyway i wish i could make it all better soma i do nova is an overflowing spring the river has broken the levee and will drown us all no i won't let it the stars will be reborn the aragami will end all things there was nothing we could do after all even from the start. No. I will not hear this from you. I refuse to believe it! <laughs> you must hurry. Soma, you must go. Take your comrade to... to the Ark. Please! My child. Director! <gasps> Director! No! Don't you see? There was never a place for me upon that ship. There was never a new world awaiting me. But... I tore the sky and rent the seas. I have no right to another. I can merely see it and weep. You are the final step. 
And no one better, Soma. No one better than you, Father. In the end, we could only search for answers, Aisha. We could find none. Forgive us this terrible war. Have we atoned for what we did? I think we have tried. Nozomi. Mom, I wanted to keep my promise to you. I wanted to come home. Shio! Shio? Please tell me it's you, Shio. How could she maintain this? Her individuality, her humanity, it... It was absorbed by the Nova, taken with her core, it... It's rising. Look, it's rising! Shio, what are you doing? Answer me! Look beyond the sky, Soma. Everyone, it's so big. Perfectly round. <laughs> It's like a giant rice cake. Looks way tastier than this world, don't you think? Much, much tastier. To the moon. Shio, are you certain? You would take the Nova with you? Shio, listen to me! She's still alive, right, Doc? Right? I... I don't know. But if she wasn't, then... I know things. For the first time, I understand everything. All of what you taught me makes so much sense. All of what you taught me makes a... person. Shio, please! To eat together with someone. To live. To live for someone. To die. To die for someone. And finally, to forgive someone. They take many shapes. They twist and turn and change, but... Everyone is a connection. You are bound to each other. Come back here! Please, don't go! Please! I want to. I want more than anything to be with you. And that is why I have to say goodbye today. For now. Because I love you all. I love the forms you hold as you are. Good job, Alyssa? No! No, not a good job. Not without you. <laughs> I am sorry then. I know what you mean in your heart, my Alyssa. Time is ever long and never enough. Even though I loved every moment I spent within it. Please, I need you to devour it. That form that was mine, that is mine. It's not ready to say goodbye. No way. We couldn't. We could never do that. Soma, I don't know if it will taste any good. I hope it will be okay. You can't do this. You can't make this decision alone. Shio! I'm not alone. None of us ever will be. We can be ever apart. But we're always one.
The Nova was taken away, whisked off to a place beyond the sky by the purest of all of us. She saved our world, and though Aragami still tread along the sands and seas, across the sky and sun, it is still a beautiful world. We had denied divine providence, the broken dream world not seen. But on that day, our god arcs burned white, white like an angel's wings, bright like the smile of the goddess who walks with us now. From the moon, she gazes and smiles, watching as we wander and survive upon this earth, our home. <laughs>